welcome to the first lab of our docker series we at appsec engineer we have taken care of the groundwork so we have set up a fully loaded docker instance ready to go so all i have to do is hit the ground running no fuss no hassle just easy peasy now the first thing i'm going to do is to show how to pull the docker image from the official docker hub so the first thing i'm going to do is navigate myself to the docker hub so I have already signed in so and I have searched for Redis. So this is the Docker image that I would require. So I'm just saying copy, go back to my instance and then paste. Okay, so since we do not have this image in our local server, it is all going to do is extract and download us with it. Now, in order to check, we have the Docker images. So I'm going to use in the command Docker images and then we see whatever we have done is reflected here now the second thing i'm going to start up with is a similar process but with a different image so let me just clear this up okay now i'm going to change my directory so this is the directory i want to be in now i'm going to do the same thing say docker pub and then i have a different image name this time v45 and so this is my new image so similarly i don't have this in my working server so since it's not there it is going to pull from the docker hub as we understood earlier initially the registry default is our docker hub okay it might take few seconds two minutes Okay, it's almost done. Now I'm going to again verify if I have my images. So Docker images and I see we have the thing. Let us also name our container. So the first thing I'm going to do is say Docker run and use this hyphen D. This hyphen D is basically to run in the detached mode that is to run in the background. And then let me name the container as one flask okay now i'm going to hit enter we see that it says you have to run docker run option image command and then there is an argument so what's missing so let us do this again so we have the name that we have decided to give but from where we need the image name right that is where we have to enter our image name now this is going to give container id in return so now let us list the running containers docker ps is going to help us do that so we have the container id the image what time it's created the status, the verbs and the name we have assigned so once done what we are going to do is check the logs so using docker logs we can check but to that we need the argument that is you can use even the image name okay that is the name we have given that is this or we can use the container id so let me use the container id here okay and then hit enter so this is the org that is given as a response now let us execute into the container running exciting right so the container is packed and we are now getting to go inside the container and see what's there okay now so to do that first thing we have to do is docker say exec command okay with hyphen it the it here is i basically is the interactive mode and the a okay here is the candy type that is it is going to provide us with the basic input and output now i'm going to use the name that i have assigned okay and then say bash okay so now i'm inside the container so here let us view all the files that is inside the container with my command so these are the files that i have app.py app.pyc the requirements.txt static templates so on and so forth so let me get out of this okay say exec command so let me do one thing so let me stop running the container okay so to do that to stop that we have the command docker and say stop 
okay so what am i stopping the image so let me use the image name here and paste so yes it takes a second to process and yes so it is now stopped so in order to view all the stopped containers we can use the docker ps along with hyphen a okay so this is going to say that see the status says it's exited that is 13 seconds ago that's what we get in stop command and that is reflected here and the status is it is exited now we can also remove the stopped container okay we don't need it now right so we can remove it so just say docker say remove okay and give the name of it so what's our name that is this okay and now you can see it is gone if you want to check you can just say docker ps and there is nothing so let me clear okay now we are going to the second phase of it that is let us only try to bring the docker image we now understood how to bring the docker image from the docker hub that is already built now we are going to do is we are going to bring the docker image and then run the docker image okay so before i run the docker image let us check the docker file so in our theory part we get keep understanding what's docker file and all here is our docker file so in this docker file the first thing we are using okay the image is being built from the ubuntu 16.04 okay and then we have all the commands followed by it we are going to install wget we are going to install python pip okay that's the part and then we are also going to make directly by name app okay so we have understood the base image so we have understood what we are installing okay and now we have also created the directly named app now you see a command called copy hangover app to hangover so what does it mean so it means that you are copying the entire directly to our docker image so this is the directly what you see is this that is having app requirement and everything so we are going to copy to our docker image then we do can set our environment variable here we have set it to test okay this is our working directly this is the path we have given then we are saying kindly install whatever there is in requirement dot text so what is there in requirement dot text is all of these dependencies and the versions so it is going to install all of this so back to docker file so in order to access the application we are exposing our port to 5000 okay so once all of this is done our docker file is ready so we are now proceeding with bending the docker image the exciting part is here so what we are going to do is we are already in the directly where our docker file exists that is important now i'm going to use the command docker bend okay hyphen t fine now let me use the name hello world with the latest tag attached okay and then i'm going to use this dot so you might ask me what is this dot about right so this is nothing but it is going to set our bend context that is which is the set of files and directories and it is making it accessible to our docker engine okay during our build process so we are already in the directory so we are using it so once done now step by step okay every single line in the docker file is going to create a separate layer that is how our image is built layer by layer so we have all the layers so all the dependencies that we saw from the requirement dot text all of it are going to get downloaded and now the image is slowly built how again layer by layer so it takes few seconds to minutes okay so make it take its time fine so it is says it is successfully tagged let me clear this now what i have to do is to run the docker okay so we can get our application so what i'm going to do is run it with docker run command okay with hyphen d we know what it means and we are using hyphen p hyphen p is that p stands for the port okay we know that it is going to run on port 5000 and we also know that every container has its own network space right so what i'm going to do is 
use this hyphen p that is the port so say i want port 5000 okay that is in that is of my nab instance that is the host machine to be attached to port 5000 of what 5000 of obviously the container okay and then i'm going to use my image that i have used to build it with the latest tag okay now once i do that it is running so now in order to access that i'm just using my server ip so this is my server ip so open a new tab and then we know what is the port number that is 5000 and boom we have hello world from the container so we were able to successfully access the application right so now that we have understood how to run the basic docker commands understand the basics of the perm execute run stop remove and so much of commands we did cover now in the next series to come we are going to focus on the attacking of dockers and that's what we are focusing on so in the next series you see lined up attack on docker so don't do miss the upcoming interesting apps that we have so stay tuned see you in the next video bye bye